guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're gonna be doing a wear test on the new Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a powder that's supposed to be waterproof and wear really good on your skin. And they did come out with this for summer, I believe, because it is the beginning of summer and it just came out. And so this has 7.5 grams and 0.26 ounces of product. And so let me go ahead and read you what it's supposed to do. So it says, make your makeup last through the night with our all-nighter waterproof setting powder. It feels like nothing yet instantly sets foundation and controls shine and creates a blown out effect for a flawless looking complexion that lasts. Applied on top of the foundation, our translucent shade that lights up nearly every skin tone. And so that is everything that it says on the box. The packaging is super cute. It has like little droplets on it. And so this is what the packaging looks like. I just love this like water driplet thing. And then it's super duper thin. And I love that as well because it's nice and compact. If you do want to take it on the go, and for reference guys, I do have oily combo skin, so I get mainly oily in my T-zone and I'm kind of normal everywhere else if you wanna like compare skin types. And so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the powder. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the demo. Okay guys, so I look crazy right now because I only have like half my makeup done, but now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I already did set under my eyes with the Pure Cosmetics Loose Powder just because I know that I'm not gonna wanna wear this one under my eyes because I'm very picky on which powders I set my concealer with, but for the rest of my face, of course, I'm going to go in with the all-nighter, and I'm just going to use my e.l.f. powder brush to set my whole face. And I did use like a natural finish foundation just because I didn't want to use a super matte one because I wanted to see if it's really good at controlling my oil, and I also didn't want to wear a super dewy one because I want to give it the benefit of the doubt to see if it actually controls my oil. Plus, I don't really have any dewy foundations because I do have oily combo skin. So it's going on really nicely. It's not looking too cakey. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set this side of my face only so we could kind of compare the two and then I'll go ahead and go in and set the rest. Okay, so this is the side that I set with the powder and I like the fact that it didn't change the color of my foundation and make it like oxidize. And this is the side without it. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell on camera, but looking into the mirror, my pores are a little bit blurred on this side and not so much on this side, which is crazy because when I did first initially try this powder, it kind of exaggerated my pores, so maybe it's just better alone. And so now I'm going to go ahead and just set this side. This powder isn't very scented, but it does have like the tiniest hint of like a sweet smell. And I really want to set my nose really good because that's the place that gets super duper oily. Okay, so this is how both sides look like with the powder. And it looks very flawless and smooth. I like the way it's looking so far. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. And then I'll be back on camera to show you how everything looks together. I did want to mention the time. It is now 2.36 p.m. And that's when I'm first applying the powder. So we can know like how long it wears throughout the day. And so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and finished up my makeup and this is how everything looks like together. And so far, I'm loving the finish. It looks really matte and poreless. My bronzer, blush, and highlight blended on really nicely. I didn't set it though with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because I did run out of that. So I ended up setting my face with this Little Barn Coconut Mint Cooling Mineral Mist and it worked out pretty good. Okay, so I did want to let you guys know what I did end up putting on my face, just so you know. Um, so the NARS Sheer Glow is what I ended up using for my foundation. Just like I said, it has more of a natural finish, so it's not too matte or glowy. And then I just used my Tarte Shape Tape per usual, and then you guys saw me set my face. And so that is everything that I'm wearing. Let me go ahead and zoom you in so you can see how everything looks. So this is how my foundation looks like with the powder. It just looks really nice and smooth, like I said, and so far I'm liking the way it looks. It's nice and poreless. It's not oxidizing, which is good. And so, yeah. 
And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and wear this throughout my whole day. I do have work later, and so we're really gonna see how it wears on my skin. It is a hot summer day, of course, and so we're just gonna test it out. And I do have oily combo skin, so we're gonna see how it controls my oil. And then at the end of the night, I do wanna come back and have Christian spray my face with some water just to see if it is really waterproof and see how that goes. I just didn't wanna do it before work because obviously I didn't wanna mess up my makeup before work if you know what I'm saying. And so yeah, that is everything that I have to update you guys on. It is now, what time is it? 3.16, and so I'll check back in with you guys at the end of the night. Hey guys, so it's the end of the night. It is now 10 o'clock p.m., so I've had this makeup on for about seven hours. Um, I applied the powder probably like eight hours ago because I did that a little bit earlier before I finished the rest of my makeup, but this is what it's looking like. I'm really tired, if you couldn't tell. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and show you guys what my face looks like and what I think. Okay, so this is what my face is looking like. And I feel like I got oily just like every day, like if I were wearing my normal setting powders, my loose powders. Um, I feel like I got the same amount of oiliness <laughs> going on. Um, I guess it controlled it just a tad bit on my nose. But everywhere else is pretty normal. My nose did get somewhat oily, but it's not as oily as like if I were to get really oily with a new foundation or something, if you know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm not making any sense. Um, but I did notice that it is looking a little cakey right here in the center of my forehead. Hopefully you guys can tell on camera. Um, but that is what it looks like. It is creasing right here on my lash lines. Um, the foundation mixed with the powder obviously is creasing. Um, and so yeah, everywhere else kind of stayed pretty good. Like it's nice and matte. And of course it did wear off right here where I was wearing my glasses. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. Um, I do feel like my nose looks a little cakey. It just looks really, really cakey in this like area right here. So I'm not liking the way that looks. My pores still look pretty blurred out, which is nice. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna test out if this is waterproof. And I was actually gonna have Christian spray me with water, but I was like, wait a minute, why would I have him do it if I could just spray myself? And so we're gonna do that right now. But before we do that, I'm gonna have to put my hair up. Okay, so hair is up now. Hopefully I don't get it wet. Um, I did want to let you guys know that I didn't see any oxidizing with this powder, which is really good. I don't think that it oxidized. I do have to look at the previous clips and see if like my face got darker. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, but so far, like I feel like it held together like all this outside of my face really well. But now we're going to test out the waterproofness. I'm kind of like procrastinating right now and talking about other stuff just so I won't have to spray myself with cold water. But let's go ahead and just get it over with so I can take my makeup off. So I have this spray bottle here with pure water in it. It's from Paul Mitchell. I had this when I was in cosmetology school. And I'm just gonna spray my face and see what happens. Ooh. And this does not have a fine mist on it. <laughs> okay, my face is dripping. And I got it in my eye. Whew. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could see my face dripping. It does look like it kind of balled up a lot. My face looks so bad right now, guys. It just looks so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, my eyeshadow is coming off already. And my eyes are turning blurry for some reason. <laughs> So I'm just gonna let this soak on my face for a little bit and then I'll go ahead and like pat it off and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, you could literally just see my eyeshadow melting off my eyes. <laughs> oh my God. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be super cold, but it's like room temperature water. So let's see if I'll transfer. Nope, just the water's coming off. Okay, so that's a good thing. My eyeshadow's completely ruined. <laughs> I'm gonna look so ugly for this outro, I swear. Okay, let's go ahead and pat it off now. Okay, so the foundation is definitely coming off. 
I feel like I have to wipe my eyes because I can't see for some reason. I think my makeup is getting inside my eyeballs. Okay, so let me take a look now. Mm. Yeah, I definitely don't think <laughs> this is waterproof. <laughs> I look so bad. Oh my god. Okay, so this is probably like sweat proof, maybe cry a little tear, but not full on water in your face because it, as you can see right here, it's like wearing off where my highlight is. It did transfer onto the paper towel and it took all like my nose makeup off. Hopefully you guys can see that. And it just, it looks super duper cakey, even more now on my forehead right here because it's taken little patches of foundation off. So yeah, I wouldn't go swimming with this powder. So now I'm gonna try to make myself look a little bit more presentable so I could do this outro. Okay guys, so I'm so ready to take this makeup off now. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I am gonna tell you my final thoughts on the powder. Overall, I think it set my face really beautifully. It looked really nice. It filled in the pores and it didn't oxidize my foundation. Um, I really like the way it set everything. I feel like it would be a nice powder to carry like in your purse and on the go to touch up with. Um, but it does kind of hold up my oil the same way as like a translucent loose powder would um, do just because I use those most often. Um, but overall, it's a good powder. I don't think it's completely waterproof, though. I wouldn't go swimming or, like, just be like this in the rain with it hitting your face and thinking you're okay because um, it's probably going to look bad. Um, but, yeah, that's my final thoughts on this powder. So far, I'm liking it. I am going to be testing it out some more, putting it more to the test, of course. And, of course, I will update you guys on my final, like, overall thoughts after using it a lot. I'll probably have it in an empties video once I finish it to tell you guys my actual final thoughts on the product. And so yeah, that's gonna be everything for this video. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I can know to keep doing more wear tests on products. Just to let me know if you guys actually like these kinds of videos. I'm actually thinking about doing a wear test on the Pure Cosmetics loose powder just because I'm obviously trying that one out as well and I kind of want to put it to the test with my oils too so let me know if you guys would like that and yeah that's pretty much all i have to say if you have any comments or concerns or anything like that leave it in the comments down below and i'll talk to you guys in my next video oh wait make sure you're subscribed i make videos every monday wednesday and friday so that's three times a week and i would love to see you here more and so i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys